Welcome to Vlogmas day 10. Today we have an empties video. This is probably my largest empties video that I've ever filmed. I have been saving products for months and months and months. So I have this entire basket full of empties products. So we're gonna go through these. We have skincare, hair care, body care, probably some makeup and other miscellaneous things. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. These are all products that I have used up, either me, my husband, or the both of us. And I'll let you know basically like some quick thoughts and then if we would repurchase them or not. So starting off with Garnier, we have the Sleek and Shine Smoothing Shampoo. This, we just keep going back to it. It smells really good, it works really good for us. It's pretty inexpensive, and I'm not saying that this is the best shampoo out there in the world, but it works for us and we enjoy it. So <laughs> we go through this uh, quite frequently. We pretty much always repurchase this. So this is a definite repurchase for us. We love this. These are two shampoos, by the way. I think I have some conditioners in here as well. <laughs> Actually, you know what, make, make that three shampoos. Sticking to hair care, I have a couple of products from Oribe in here. I have had these for literal years. This is a purple shampoo and conditioner. It's the bright blonde shampoo for beautiful color and bright blonde conditioner for beautiful color. These were good. I got these from the TJ Maxx website and I so I didn't pay full price. I would not purchase these again. I have other purple shampoos and conditioners that I prefer so much over these. The Olaplex purple shampoo is probably my favorite. It's very intense, you only need a little bit. Um, so I thought these were okay, but definitely not gonna repurchase these. Even at a discounted price, I don't think I would repurchase those again. Next, we have the Kristen S Gentle, Extra Gentle Conditioner. I bought this on a whim randomly quite a while ago. Um, it's good, but nothing like exceptional. Um, I don't have like a shampoo and conditioner that I absolutely love uh, from like the drugstore other than the Garnier one. Um, I love anything Briogeo. The Briogeo shampoo and conditioners are so good, but those are pretty expensive. Olaplex is also really good, but expensive. Day shampoo and conditioner is so good, but on the more expensive side. So those are some other ones I love. This one's good. I would try maybe a different one from Kristen S next time, but yeah. It's all right. We have a Garnier uh, Sleek and Shine conditioner in here as well. I actually think this might be the only one, so we must use a lot more shampoo than conditioner. We have a hair mask from Briogeo. This is the Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Mask. This is a really nice deep conditioning hair mask. They also have their regular Don't Despair Repair hair mask, which is also really, really nice. Again, on the more pricey side, so if you have like, if there's a sale at Sephora or something, then definitely check it out, or if you're willing to pay full price, I think that it's nice. Um, but again, I kind of just flip flop around between hair masks, so um, I would definitely love to use this again, and if it was at like TJ Maxx or something, I would absolutely purchase this, but I'm not like rushing to go out and buy this right now. Another hair mask is this one from Sol de Janeiro. I love it. This hair mask, it is so good. It's the Hair Repair Treatment Triple Brazilian Butter. It is so freaking amazing. It smells great. It smells like Chirosa 62. The only thing that I would say is I do not like the packaging. I mean, I love this packaging, but not for in the shower. I wish that it was in either like a squeezy bottle or like a pump or something. Just not a pot where you have to like open this and then you have to scoop the product out. And then I just like end up like sliding it on the side of my hair like this so that I can close this back up, put it on the shelf, and then I'll like scoop it back out and just, it's it's a mess. It's not very convenient to use because of the packaging, but the product itself is amazing. I love this hair mask. This is one that I would be more inclined to repurchase over the Briogeo one because I love the way that it feels in my hair. I love the way that it smells. The only negative is the format of the packaging. I have a couple of Olaplex, Olaplex products. We have the number three and the number six. The number three is the uh, repairs and strengthens one. I don't really know how you use this. You apply to towel dried hair, damp towel dried hair. You let it sit and then you rinse it off. 
and then you shampoo and condition so this is like a pre hair treatment um this is just like a little sample one it's a really nice product i would definitely use this anytime i had it i and you can't say anything bad about really any of the Olaplex products. Then we have the Bond Smoother. This lasted me so long. You only need a little bit. I used this as a leave-in conditioner type product. It says leave-in reparative styling cream. But again, it says that it eliminates frizz, nourishes, and protects. So pretty much what a leave-in conditioner would do, even though that's not technically what it's marketed as. That's how I used it. And I would definitely repurchase this and use it again. But leave-in conditioner is another thing that i kind of just like flip-flop in between like whatever i have i usually have something on hand from like a pr package so um yeah both of those are great i'm a fan of olaplex next we have this from day this is the cactus flower leave-in conditioner um it says that it calms frizz softens and hydrates and protects from hair protects hair from breakage i loved this i used it till the very last drop i would definitely recommend this I want to repurchase this uh, in one day that I one day I will once I go through a couple of the other ones that I have in my bathroom currently I will absolutely repurchase this day is one of my favorite hair care brands and I wish I had literally every product from them because I love the aesthetics I love the products every one that I've tried I've tried the shampoo the conditioner the hair oil and then this I'm a big fan of day so this one I would repurchase and I will I do plan on repurchasing it Next, we have the Whey Treatment Mask. This is something that I've had for a really long time. It looks like there's a little bit in here, but there's like, we couldn't squeeze any more out of this. This is another good one. I'm a huge fan of Whey hair care. Um, but again, I probably, you know, I'm not like rushing to go repurchase this. I would probably choose the Sol de Janeiro one over this, but I wish this is the type of packaging that the Sol de Janeiro one was in. So maybe one day they will update that because that would be fantastic. Um, but this is a really good one and I would say give it a try. Um, it smells really good too. Big fan of Whey. I think their products are great. I think that's all of the hair care that I have. So now we'll go ahead and do some body care. First up, we have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This is like a massive container. This took us so long to go through, but we love this. We love the Chirosa 62 scent, and this was amazing. I would absolutely repurchase this product. I don't know how much this one is. I'm assuming it's a lot, because this is not their like typical size. It's like a very large size one. This is a thousand milliliters, <laughs> so yeah. Big fan of this, would absolutely repurchase that. We've used plenty of containers of the Brazilian Foreplay. I also actually have a little mini empty. This is the same product. Um, this just came as a mini and we, I think we brought this with us on our cruise or something. I don't know, we brought it with us a few different places traveling and that's how we've used this up. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next, we have a product from Minim LA. This was a body scrub in the vanilla coconut scent beachy warm paradise and sweet this was so freaking good i love the way that this smells love there's water in here <laughs> love the texture of this and i also have their body lotion and their body oil i'm a big fan of minim la their body care products that they've recently come out with are amazing and i think they just came out with a new scent as well but this one is vanilla coconut which is so yummy so this one i would definitely repurchase Another scrub we have is the Moonlight Glow from Tree Hut. This one smelled really good as well. Honestly, any Tree Hut scrub I would recommend and I would say that I would repurchase. These are fantastic. Love the way these feel. Jarvis also likes these and they are so good. And I know Ulta has sales on their products a lot. Target might as well. So look out for Tree Hut sales or like buy two, get one free or buy three, get a $5 gift card from Target, things like that. I know they do, so definitely love the tree hut we have quite a few body washes starting off with this one from cremo <laughs> or cremo i'm not sure this is the body wash in the scent vintage suede i have talked about this in several empties videos we've used so many of these this is definitely more of a like musky kind of cologne type scent it's in like the men's section of target but i also enjoy using this it smells so 
good. This is like my favorite. Whenever someone uses this, you can like smell it like three rooms away. <laughs> it's so freaking good. It has notes of white moss, rich amber, and smooth suede. I definitely recommend this. It's a great little stocking stuffer, like gift for someone or just for yourself. I think it's fantastic. Then we have Golden Egg from Lush. This is another shower gel. This was like a limited edition one, I'm pretty sure, from like <laughs> Easter or something, but it was like a sparkly gold, and it smelled kind of like a sweet honey fragrance. It was so good, so freaking good. I'm a big fan of Lush shower gels, so this one, again, is one that I would repurchase. Then we have the Pacifica Lavender Moon Body Wash. This was $5.99. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought this because it had moons on it and I think I bought this when I was pregnant and we knew that we were gonna name our daughter Luna and I just wanted to buy everything that had a moon on it. Um, also, lavender is a really nice, like, calming scent so i knew i would like this and it's pacifica so um yeah this was nice i would definitely repurchase this i wouldn't say it's like a must-have but if i saw this again at tj maxx i would repurchase it or like another scent i thought the actual like product itself worked really well and, and felt nice and yeah this this was a good one i think this is our last body care well technically we have two body care products left the first one is this deodorant. This is the Humble deodorant and it's aluminum free. It's in the scent Mountain Lavender. This was $5.99 from Marshalls. I really like the way that this smells and feels and works. It, this is like the best working uh, like aluminum free deodorant that I've ever used. I'm somebody that has to wear deodorant every single day, uh, sometimes multiple times a day. I would reapply if it's like a net more natural one. Uh, but this one I can definitely get away with only applying once and still smelling good. But um, I did kind of notice a little bit of like sensitivity and like itchiness on my underarm after using this which i have been struggling with finding a deodorant that does not cause that so if you have any recommendations let me know um that's like a thing that i started experiencing like a few years ago i started getting like a sensitivity to deodorant um but this one worked really well for me for a long time and then i feel like at the end of using this i kind of got a little bit of irritation i still have actually have repurchased this in a few other scents as well um and i still use it i still think it works great um and the price you cannot be deodorant is so expensive now so six dollars for deodorant is not bad that again i would definitely recommend it and um at least trying it out and seeing if it works for you if you're looking for an aluminum free one and then we have pink sugar <laughs> i love this perfume this is like my signature <laughs> perfume i've gone through countless bottles of this I have already repurchased it. Uh, I actually already had repurchased it before I ran out of this because I knew that I was running low. So this is amazing. Definitely not a scent for everyone, but it is a scent for me. So <laughs> I love this perfume. And now we have skincare. So um, I have quite a few skincare products in here. I have some acne patch containers these are from the creme shop these are good they're not the best ones i've ever had they're really inexpensive which is nice um i think you get like like five of these packs for like six dollars and then there's like multiple sheets within each pack so the price you can't really be if you get them from like tj maxx or marshall's but i have used other ones that stick to my skin a little bit better but i still use these and if i ran out i would definitely repurchase them i have a couple things of makeup wipes again from the creme shop i have this uh makeup removing wipe pack in calming lavender i love the creme shop wipes they're 4.99 for how many wipes are in here not too sure but there's a lot of wipes in here it's a really good deal they're super saturated i like these a lot and then i have a little travel um neutrogena makeup wipe package so this is these are the only makeup wipes i've used in the last like five months <laughs> i don't use them a whole lot but i do use them every now and then so these are both great um these i would definitely repurchase these are also really good probably a little bit more expensive but they're both great i have quite a few quite a few as in three <laughs> cleansers we have the la mer 
cleansing gel. This is $95 or something ridiculous. And I would not repurchase that. It's awesome, it's luxurious. I thought it was a great product, but I'm not gonna spend $100 on a cleanser ever again. So <laughs> that one I would not repurchase. If, if maybe if you, you know, if that's in your budget, go for it, but definitely not in my budget. <laughs> um, next we have this Kopari Tropical Glow Cleanser. Loved this one, it smelled great. Love Kopari. Pretty much anything from them is amazing. Everything that I can think of at least. Anything that I've tried. Um, so yeah, this is a good one. I would definitely repurchase that one. And then we have the Ofra Foaming Vitamin C Cleanser. This is another really good cleanser. I love this. This is one of my favorite skincare products from Ofra. Definitely check this out if you have acne prone skin or just any skin, honestly. It smells so good and it's like a foaming one and I just have no complaints. It says refreshing and gentle cleanser that removes dirt, oil, and leftover makeup. So 10 out of 10 would recommend that one. I also have the Pharmacy Peaches and Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is another amazing product. I love the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balms. I've been using this product for years. The peach one was so fun. I don't know if this was limited edition, but I would definitely get the peach one again. But honestly, they all smell so good. So you can't really go wrong with any of their Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balms. It's a long name, but it's such a good product. I love going in with this and then one of those cleansers that I mentioned. That's my typical makeup removing routine. I also have a purifying micellar water from Laura Mercier. This is one that I got in PR, so I didn't actually purchase this, but I thought it was really nice. Um, I don't know how expensive this is, so I don't know if I would repurchase it. The price would determine that because I feel like there's a lot of like drugstore ones that are reasonably priced that I don't have an issue with that I've enjoyed. So Kind of just depends. La Roche Posay has one, Garnier has a bunch. So, um, yeah, whatever you're, you're kind of feeling. But this was really, really nice and I enjoyed it a lot. Next, we have the Ofra Peptide Moisturizer. This is actually a product that my husband used. This was his moisturizer. He really liked this. He loved this actually. He completely used it up. He said it smelled good felt good and yeah he used this as his face moisturizer and he said that he would definitely use this again oh my goodness i also have this oil from ofra this is the renewal treatment oil this is great if you're looking for just like an all over face oil i actually used up most of this but i did spill some of it unfortunately um i like knocked it over when this was not screwed in so that was my bad but i still ended up using probably like three quarters of this so this is great if you're looking for a facial oil it's just like a good kind of like all-in-one type product um i would definitely recommend that and then we also have the biotech eye and lip cream from ofra this is one that i feel like i probably could use something else it was really nice it worked great for me um, but it's just really simple, so I feel like I kind of like to spice things <laughs> up a little bit sometimes, so this is good, um, but I would be interested in trying some other ones. I have the Kopari California Glow Enzyme Scrub. This is another one that smelled so good. This was amazing. I would absolutely repurchase this. It's super fine, like exfoliating, and it's just, it's so good, and it smelled so good. Love Kopari once again. I have this little foil packet of the Charlotte's Magic Serum. This was really nice. I imagine this is very expensive, so I don't know that I would purchase this, but um, the actual product itself was really nice, and if I ever got another sample, I would absolutely use it. And then we have some makeup. <laughs> we have a clear brow gel, the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. Love this, would absolutely repurchase this. I've used probably like 20 of these in my lifetime. It's so good, <laughs> my favorite brow gel. And then we have some mascara. I have two of these Ilia mascaras and an Ofra mascara. The Ofra one is the HD Volumizing Mascara. This one's really good. I definitely like other ones more, like the Benefit Roller Lash is my go-to. Um, Pillow Talk from uh, Charlotte Tilbury is another really good one, but this one's still really nice. I would definitely recommend trying it out. It's just not like my top top. And then I have these two from Ilia. These are so good. These are the Limitless, Limitless Lash Mascaras. These are just minis, but again, I would absolutely recommend these. I want to buy the full size once I use up a few of the other mascaras that I currently have. I just kind of have a lot right now, but these are amazing. 
definitely try these out. So that is everything from this empties video. I tried to keep things short and quick. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. Bye.